the Meredith Music Festival. It's as Australian as a Vegemite croissant. But if you're new to Meredith and don't know the rituals, you'll look as un-Australian as a regular croissant. Thankfully, we here at At The Music with Zach and Gotchi have got you covered. And we're going to walk through all the Meredith rituals and give them a shit-hot review. On ya, cunt. Classic Meredith ritual is the boot, which is a big boot that's in the middle of the festival and at the end of the festival everyone sets it on fire. I thought it was when if you really like a band, you give them the boot by forcibly removing them from the stage mm. because no one likes a fucking show off. The boot doesn't have to be a boot, it can be a regular shoe. Yep, it can be a sneaker or Adidas trainer. Or a wanky overpriced dress shoe. The boot, obviously a classic. I'm going to give the boot five boot, boots. Boot, 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 boot. Five boots uh, for the boot, boot, uh, for boot, me boot as well. Boot, boot. Classic ritual, no glass. So folks, make sure your crack pipes are made of wood or some other mineral. Mm. I was going to give the glass policy four glasses of beer, mm. but I can't because it's banned. So maybe you give it four tinny, oh, well, three tinnies, four tinnies. Or I'll just sneak the glass in, no one's watching. Mm. That's four glasses of beer. Next up, of course, is the silence wedge. I actually don't know what this is. What is, what is that? Well, the, the, the silence wedge is a designated block of silence where you can finally just take some time to go back and just properly wake up your neighbours and the tans, talk a bit of shit, rack some nangs, make your own noise, because you've spent so much of the festival hearing other people's noise, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. I think some of the most intelligent opinions uh, of the entire festival mm. are expressed in that one single silence wedge. Well, there's been so many great philosophical philosophies that have come out of the silence wedge. I think mm. Martin Luther King first said, I had a dream at Meredith at about eight in the morning and he was talking about this because he'd taken four names and he'd seen a lizard. I've, um, I really thought that that quote was about something different. I think one of the most important rituals of Meredith on the final morning, no less, when you engage with an ancient uh, art of, of respect and inner peace and wisdom, uh, and uh, rip 20 nangs with a pink cowboy hat on. Mm. Brass music is important music. So it's so great that they finally invited the City of Ballarat Municipal Brass Band back to the Meredith Festival because it's a great opportunity to go to bed early on the first night, get well rested, skip whatever idiot DJ is playing and wake up nice and fresh. There's nothing dumber than being out there watching the brass and looking a bit hungover and disrespecting the, the band. Yeah, man. It's, uh, look, they're a shit hot brass band. They're municipal. And I think that if you, if you show up at the City of Brass as a municipal band, not looking your best, then you're demeaning municipality and you're demeaning Brass. And I can't tell you how many girls I've had to break things off with because I've seen them a little bit hungover while, while those Ballarat boys begin to play and I think that ain't right. I just think that you wouldn't do it to a woodwind band while you're doing it to a Brass band. You wouldn't do it to a woodwind band. Fucking assholes. Why would you do it to a brass band? Yeah, I mean, it's a definite um, two Zacks, because they're not that good. I mean, it's boring, usually. Four tubers. Blah, blah. The no dickheads policy. Classic. Classic. A pretty, I guess, reasonable way to curb uh, stupidity and violence in the festival. Pretty rapidly descended into, a, I'd say, a full-on massacre of dickheads. I remember bringing my mate Robbo one year and he was always a bit of a dickhead, Robbo. It was merciless people kicking the living shit out of him, chanting, dickhead, dickhead. I mean, I think, I guess, Robbo's being a dickhead in heaven now. Probably hell. Probably he's... hell, he was a fucking, he was a dickhead, wasn't he? Yeah. Three Zacks, no dickhead balls. Three Zacks. Pros and cons. Like everything in life. We'll see, see you, you in the, the sup. sup. Hey, what are you doing this weekend? Do you want to come to mine and play cards? Yeah. <laughs>